of season one, they find this soldier who has been a prisoner of war for eight years. He has returned to American soil, a hero. It is my privilege to welcome you home. There is one CIA case officer who suspects that Brody might not be everything he seems. Carrie Matheson intuits that this hero has been turned and is working for the other side. She's able to persuade the powers that be that this is a worthwhile endeavor. An American prisoner of war has been turned. You're suggesting that Abu Nazir planted intelligence on his own safe house. Saul Berenson wants to see the world be a peaceful place to live in. He believes that Kerry Matheson is the sign and the gift of that possibility. We need eyes and ears on Brody from the minute he steps off that plane. She also is bipolar. I got a mood disorder, OK? She places herself in Brody's way. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know you. There's a recognition between them. They're two broken-winged birds. <laughs> They think they're playing each other. They do fall in love, but it's a doomed romance. This man has poisoned your thoughts. <laughs> Forget him. <laughs> Brody, while he was in captivity, had taken on this surrogate son. He learns to love this young boy. This boy is then killed by a drone strike by the vice president of the United States of America. The motivation for Brody to commit an act of terrorism is very much personal revenge. The first season ends with this extraordinary finale where Brody does wear a suicide vest into a basement with the vice president. Brody, he's planning on taking them all out. Christ's sake, carry not this again. Sergeant Brody, got a call for you. Brody is brought back from the edge because of his love for his daughter. Dad, promise me. I'm coming home, Dana. Carrie is vindicated by the audience, but no one, including her, is aware of how right she was. I'm sorry. Do you need to stay away from me? She sends herself to get electroshock therapy. That's where we leave season one. I am not a terrorist. Brody is able to keep it a secret for a while, but Saul comes back with information. Suicide bomber almost blew up Vice President Waller. My name is Nicholas Brody. I would try to. You were right. Everyone knows what Brody tried to do. You still have your twisted theories about me, don't you? Not theories anymore. <laughs> the big theme in season two was Brody being turned into a double agent. We send you back into the world as if nothing happened. You help us figure out what Abu Nazir's plan is. Carrie Matheson is then captured by Abu Nazir. Oh, you don't be Carrie. Brody was forced to make a very difficult decision. I'm killing you. We were just notified that Abu Nazir has been killed. We are left with the possibility of exploring this affair. I decided I want to be with you. And just when you think everything is rosy, the CIA blows up right underneath their noses, and it seems as though Brody planted the bomb. People will say I was brainwashed. By an act of desperation, Carrie drives Brody to the border. I'm going to clear your name, Brody. So we're back to square one. They're all suffering in their respective corners in the hope they'll find their way back to each other over the course of the season. We'll have to see where it goes.